Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah, if you are new here. So I know this video might be a little different than my usual beauty, fashion, lifestyle content, although this is lifestyle, like this is a big part of my life, so. I asked you guys on Instagram if you'd be interested in hearing more about my scoliosis story or just my journey with scoliosis because um, I actually do get quite a few DMs from girls being like, I have scoliosis and I saw you do and I would like you to, you know, talk about it or make more content about content about it. And so, yeah, that's why I'm here today. For those of you who don't know, I started this channel as a scoliosis channel, I guess. It was a way for me to kind of just express myself and help other girls and um, talk about scoliosis and fashion with my back brace and things like that and so yeah that's kind of where I started but today we're just going to be talking about my story as well as answering some of your questions that you asked me on Instagram because even if you don't have scoliosis I feel like this it's just it's good to inform yourself and maybe learn how to help a friend who has it or just learn more about what they go through on the daily basis and yeah, I just thought this would be a good video to do. For those of you who are wondering what this gorgeous thing in the background is, those are actually Eternity Roses from um, Rose Forever. They, uh, It's a company that sent them to me. It's not sponsored in any way, but I just thought they were so beautiful and I actually surprised my mom with them for her birthday. Like I set them out on the counter. I'll insert like a little video. We tried to make her quarantine birthday as good as possible and she said she had a really good day so it made me happy. These are the Essential Ivory Square Roses and they're just like 100% natural fresh flowers but they last a whole year and so they're just like a really awesome gift you can give for you know someone's anniversary or a birthday or Valentine's Day anything like that. And also they have really good prices compared to other companies that do similar like eternity eternity rose type things so definitely check them out if you are looking for flowers to give to someone for their birthday or event or anything i don't know what event we're going to soon during this quarantine time but rose forever did give me a 20 dollars discount code to give to you guys so i will link that down below and put it on the screen as well i believe it's just sarah c20 so definitely check them out if you are looking for roses for now my cow mini fridge is replaced with these gorgeous white roses but i probably should give them back to my mom eventually so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get right into kind of my background with scoliosis so i have quite a few videos on my channel talking about my scoliosis and my experience and what i've been through and all that stuff so i will link um my scoliosis playlist down below warning it has some insanely cringy videos on there because i did start this channel like eight or nine years ago i think if you're looking for actual like fashion inspiration with your brace and stuff like that you can watch them but this was my style eight years ago and it was very questionable like very questionable but i still think they're cute and i have some helpful tips so feel free to watch those so it all started for me when i was in sixth going into seventh grade so like the summer and i was going to a summer camp and i needed to get a physical and so i went and the nurse was like doctor like okay we need to do the scoliosis test can you bend over and i was like okay didn't think anything of it my mom didn't think any think anything of it and then she saw that my back was very uneven kind of one side was up and one side was down and she was like oh you probably have scoliosis um you need to go get x-rays and everything changed from there sorry this lighting's kind of blue but yeah essentially that is what happened that's kind of how it all started i know some schools do a scoliosis test some schools don't i yeah i was diagnosed and i had severe scoliosis hence the title of this video okay so severe scoliosis is informally defined as a case of scoliosis that has progressed to the level where surgery is typically recommended a 40 to 45 degree um angle or curve 50 to 55 degrees in adults and my biggest curve in my spine was like approaching 60 degrees 
And so I was definitely, I definitely had have severe scoliosis and it's so many times I've been asked um, if I want surgery and things like that, especially by my um, orthopedic surgeon, I think it's called, my scoliosis doctor. I'll just call him my scoliosis doctor because I don't wanna mess up his title. But yeah, it was just after that, a series of x-ray appointments determining what was best for me. I went through two different braces because your braces don't correct your your spine, like wearing them doesn't make what's already crooked any better, but it just keeps the new growth, like it keeps the new growth from being curved. So that's why bracing is only a good option for those who are still growing. That's why um, if you find out you have it in like high school or something, it's usually too late. And so I was still growing um, in middle school and so I had two braces and so all that new growth in my spine was straight. My whole middle school journey was in a back brace basically. I wore it 22 out of the 24 hours in a day. So if I had volleyball practice after school, I'd take it off. I'd also take it off for PE and just a shower, things like that. But I did sleep in it. I did everything in it and it was a struggle i'm not gonna lie but i think i handled it a lot better than i would now like middle school sarah really didn't care that much about what anyone thought which is good i thought i was doing so well like fashion wise i thought i was really hiding it but thinking about it now i still wore what was like popular back then and i really didn't care i remember my first day of seventh grade i think it was i wore this like tight Abercrombie orange shirt, which you could totally see my brace underneath. And I didn't care. I thought I looked so good. I wouldn't say it like knocked me down or anything, but it just is like kind of like highs and lows. Some days are better than others, but I was never, I was, a, I was pretty confident. I just kind of, I was, I'm really proud of myself. Like, again, like I said, I think I handled it so much better than I would handle it if I got the news now that I was had scoliosis and needed to wear a back brace for almost three years. Yeah, I, I started a YouTube channel. I was like forming this little community. I was talking to people who had the same thing as me and I just felt like it really helped me and it made me so much stronger and so much more confident. And so that's one thing if you have scoliosis that I highly encourage you do is just to kind of form a community of girls and or, and guys, guys can get scoliosis too. Um, but I only did bracing and I also did the Schroff method physical therapy, but I do not do that now. I probably should, I should be continuing it. So the first question is, does your scoliosis get worse each year? And yes, it does actually, mine does at least. I did get an x-ray, I wanna say two winters ago, just an update to see because I don't really need to go anymore unless I'm in excruciating pain or anything like that then I'd wanna get checked out. But long story short, it it is getting worse every year right now. <laughs> Someone said updates if you got any recent x-rays, so I just talked about that. I will go ahead and put a card up here to that video for you guys. Are people born with it or do they develop it over time? So I'm pretty sure it's more rare, but babies can be born with a certain type of scoliosis, but I think most cases are ones that develop over time. So scoliosis is actually pretty common, but like most people, I know my boyfriend kind of has a mild case of scoliosis. I think one out of every two people honestly has a really mild case of scoliosis. Do you suffer from any pain? How do you manage it? Um, so you'd think because I have severe scoliosis that I'd be in a lot of pain a lot of the time, but I actually, I'm rarely ever in pain. This spring, I was having um, issues in the gym with like lifting when I had weights on my back, like I'd be squatting or sometimes even doing deadlifts. I would, I would be in a little bit of pain, but then I think it's just because my form was bad and I was, <laughs> and it was just like an error on my part because I was doing the same things in my fall semester and not feeling any pain. So I think my form just got bad. And how do I manage it? Um, like I said, if I do have pain, if I do feel pain, I kind of listen to that and I kind of chill out a little bit. I lay, I'm conscious of like how I'm laying in bed, how propped up I am, if my shoulders are back, like so many things. But I think just being conscious of your posture and 
also listening to when you're in pain, um, taking medicine if you need to, stuff like that. That's basically how to manage it. I, like I said, I haven't been in like severe pain because of my scoliosis, so I don't really have a routine on how I manage it. Have you had surgery? Everyone always asks me about surgery. I honestly get quite a few comments of people's different differing opinions saying, you know, Sarah, because you have severe scoliosis, you should really look into surgery. It really helped me, all of this stuff. Or, you know, people saying, don't get surgery, you know, it's a bad idea. So I think there's definitely different opinions on that, but I have not had surgery and I don't plan on it. But the thing is, it's hard to tell down the line how I'm gonna feel, if I'm gonna be in pain, all this stuff when I'm, you know, 40, 50 years old. And so obviously surgery is a lot easier to go through when you're younger because you just heal a lot quicker. And also I don't have like kids or, you know, a nine to five job right now or anything like that that I'm gonna have to take off from. And so it's just easier to get surgery when you're younger, you heal faster, all that stuff. And so most people suggest to just do it when you're younger to prevent, you know, things in the future. But because I'm not in pain and because it doesn't affect my life, um, I'm just not going to. Like, I'm totally fine, totally happy living my day-to-day -day life with scoliosis. Like I said, there are ups and downs and occasionally, like, occasionally I will be a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> but yeah, it just doesn't affect my life like that and so I don't plan on having surgery anytime soon. When you were first diagnosed, how did you come to terms with accepting your body? And I honestly, like I said, think I was so much better about it when I was in middle school and first diagnosed than I would have been now. And I think that's because of like social media and things like that. I, I think I, in seventh grade, I just got my Instagram account and it was like the only person I followed was my brother and like I Justine. <laughs> Yeah, it just like, I didn't really compare myself. I didn't really care what my body and my spine looked like. It wasn't until I kind of got into high school that I was a little more, started to get more self-conscious about it. But when I, when I was first diagnosed, it was more being conscious or self-conscious about how I looked in my brace as opposed to like my body in general. But yeah, it's definitely a thing for me that it has its ups and downs. You know, it's good and bad days, but I think that's like everyone. I still have this like passion and this desire to help people with scoliosis and just like help girls in general be more confident and um, just accepting of themselves and their bodies and just them in general and just to be 100% true to themselves and not care as much what other people think and not try to fit into a certain mold and all this stuff and it doesn't matter what your spine looks like it doesn't matter if you have acne it doesn't matter all these things don't matter and are such small parts of who we are you know our like our heart our personality what we have to offer the world it's that those things are what's important it's not if your spine is crooked or not and so it's definitely a process but aligning your mind like getting yourself to focus on those things instead of the silly little things that are wrong with ourselves is kind of a journey <laughs> it really is to this day i have my good days i have my bad days but that's just how life is and you just got to keep going so those were some of the main questions that you guys asked me um if you have scoliosis or if you just need someone to talk to during this time I will have my email on the screen, scoliosisseracy at gmail.com. I know it is like the original email that I made with this account and um, I'm I'm still scoliosisseracy. So if you guys need to want to email me or have any questions or just need someone to talk to, I'm always there for that because I really just want to help girls and show them that they are beautiful and strong and worthy and amazing. I hope this video was helpful for you guys and that you learned something about me or my and my scoliosis but i feel like there are definitely details i'm missing out because it's been a while since i was diagnosed but in all of my older videos i go into more depth and they might be cringy they might be i might be a little spastic um i don't know why i was like that when i first started youtube i was kind of like all over the place but um probably because i didn't know how to edit and so i just left in all the random weird parts but 
yeah you guys thank you so much for watching this video again i hope it was helpful and that you learned something and that if you are a girl with scoliosis i hope you just know that you're not alone and that i'm going through this with you and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye